everyone and welcome to a brand new series, perhaps, if you guys like it, but at the very least, a brand new game. So this is a fun little game that uh, caught my eye recently, it's called Dragon Creek, it's in early access and it is available on Steam now, and uh, it's a game where you get to be a dragon keeper, so uh, what's not to love about that? And also it's got this really cute pixel art style, I'm a sucker for pixel games, you guys. I, I, I just, I love them. <laughs> uh, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to try it out and uh, play it on the channel for you guys. So if you guys like it, definitely let me know. Let me know if you want to see more. Uh, at the very least, we're going to be taking a look at it as a spotlight today and starting a new game. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, I haven't played too much of this, so I'm going to be learning along with you guys. And uh, of course, if you do want to check this game out for yourself, you can go ahead and find links to that and info on that in the video description. But we'll go ahead. We will start a new game. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, check this game out. So, all right. Press left mouse button to continue. Hello, traveler, and welcome to Dragon Creek. My name is Gerbo. I act as guide around these parts. To whom do I owe the pleasure? And, oh, not, <laughs> that, not didn't mean to click that. All right, we'll go ahead. And, of course, I am J Plays. There we go. Go ahead. Nice to meet you, J Plays. Wait, the J Plays? I know you. You're the one that just bought all that land to the west. I heard you were planning on raising a dragon there. Well, if that is your goal, you will need a dragon first. Luckily, we have a shrine nearby. I can take you there if you could follow me, please. A and D to move, hold left shift to sprint. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll follow this little guy. Gerbo, right? Yeah, I think Gerbo. <laughs> Here we are. Inside this building, you can generate your very own dragon. Using a genetic code, you can focus your will into form. The form your dragon takes depends on the code you choose. If you don't like it, try a different code. When you're ready, click on the shrine. So we can go ahead and we can look at the shrine here. And basically what this does is um, you can use a seed to generate the same dragon. But I'm just going to kind of play around with random codes until I get one that strikes my fancy. So uh, I'll catch y'all in a little bit when we have a dragon. <laughs> okay, I think we found our dragon. <laughs> uh, those glowing eyes got me. Oh my goodness. Uh, take this dragon home. Yes, we'll go ahead and do that. I think so. And now we gotta name him. And, um, hmm. I think we're gonna call this guy Phantom. That seems like a cool name. He kind of looks the part. And uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, if I can type. The typing is a little. Can I use the keyboard? Oh, I can use the keyboard. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm smart, guys. <laughs> I'm smart and observant, and I know how to, how to play video games. <laughs> so, yeah, okay, we'll go ahead and name this guy Phantom, and we're gonna go ahead and, uh, we'll head back. I think we just click this to get out of it, and here we go. Nice. I wish you and your dragon luck. Next, I need to show you the smithy. You already own a default saddle, but you may want a new one later. Let's go. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, we can run. <laughs> we got our mysterious cloak and hood. It's very bright green. I like that, actually. Uh, but I think we can customize more later. This is the blacksmith. You can purchase saddles here. Just left-click on the smith. Right-click to exit when you're done. Saddles have a variety of effects, both in and outside of battle. More saddles will be available as you rank up. Saddles are expensive, though, so hold off on buying one now. Let's visit the dojo next. Alright, we'll go ahead and follow again, and we shall see, we shall see. I love the, the atmosphere of this game too, it's, it's, it's just, it's, it's cute, I love it. <laughs> this is the dojo. You can unlock skills and teach them to your dragon here. Only problem, you need your dragon here to teach it. You can come back after you've met your dragon. Now that I think about it, your dragon is probably hungry. I'll be at the food stand when you're done here. All right, let's go ahead and follow again. Uh, we don't need to necessarily check all these things out right now. I'm sure we will get the chance to take a look at them in the future. It's just good to know where everything is. And looks like here's the food stand. This is the food stand. You can buy food and medicine here. Dragons have different food preferences depending on their breed and personality. If you feed them food they like, their happiness will increase more. On the other hand, feed them something they dislike and they will lose happiness or even get sick. Great, let's head to your ranch next. All right, you know, this it kind of reminds me of, I used to be super into 
I, the there is a How to Train Your Dragon game. I was I'm very obsessed with How to Train Your Dragon. If you haven't, if you don't know that about me, but uh, even more so when I was younger, and I used to play the Wii game a lot, and that mechanic kind of brought me right back to that. I was like, oh my goodness, nostalgia. I, I just really love dragons in general too. <laughs> See this sign? Signs are how to transport between areas. After you click the sign, you'll be asked if you want to leave. Your dragon is already at your ranch. I'll travel there with you. All right, so let's go ahead and we will go to the ranch. But yeah, it kind of brought me right back to that, which is a really fun little thing too, because I used to love playing that game. And a totally, totally different style of art and everything, but that kind of, it, it still reminds me of that. And I, and I love it. I love it. I, I'm, I'm glad that uh, we have more dragon games starting to pop up because heck yeah. <laughs> Welcome to your ranch. You'll probably spend a lot of time here. It's a big place. I'm a bit jealous. I should show you your house. It's in the center of your ranch. All right, let's go ahead and we shall see the house. Hold on a second. This here is a training game. More specifically, this is the treadmill. If you want to raise your dragon stats, you will need to complete training games. You will also earn a little gold for completing them. Okay, let's move on. Here is the dragon barn. Inside you'll find the bathtub and the saddles. Click on either of them to use them. To enter the barn, you click the doors and walk in from the left. Your dragon should be inside the barn as we speak. I can hear him in there. I think he's snoring. I'll give you the keys to the barn in just a moment. First, I need to show you your house. So we live right over here, I think it looks like. Yep, indeed. Home sweet home. Here is where you'll be living from now on. Once inside, you'll find a mirror, the guidebook, and your bed. Click the mirror to change your appearance. Click your bed to sleep till the next morning. Click the guidebook to review dragon training knowledge. Well, that's almost everything. To the west, there is a sign pointing to the Battle League. Try battling when you're ready. Here are the keys. Oh, and here's some golden food to get started. Good luck! And there he goes! All right, well, it's kind of a misty morning, but it is indeed morning. I have uh, kind of put together an outfit that uh, more like me IRL, and we're gonna go ahead and we will uh, check on our dragon. So he should be in here, I think. We go in there. He is. How's he doing? All right. Oh, he's a little bit hungry, and he could use a bit of a bath. So let's go ahead and feed him. So it said there's different types of food that different dragons prefer. So let's see if he appreciates ham. I guess we'll, we'll start from the top, see if he likes that or not. Oh, he seemed to like that. All right, that filled him up. He did get a little bit happier. Of course, we always want to pet our dragon. Oh, he's such a good boy. <laughs> and we do want to make sure we'll probably ride him in a little bit here. But first things first, how do I get out of the menu? Um, oh, you, okay, there we go. You have to uh, right click and we'll go ahead and wash him because he's a little bit of a dirty boy right now. So we go ahead and <laughs> this reminds me of all the uh, old Nintendo games too. I used to have a DS and uh, a lot of the games had a similar mechanic to this. So this is very much a, very much of a nostalgia thing too, remembering some of the older games I used to play. Let's go ahead and put that back. And there we go, nice and clean. And now, now that we've gotten our dragon freshened up and he's doing pretty well, oh, he's very happy too. Let's go ahead and I think we will ride him, but oh, we got to clean up after him too. I see he has um, made a mess. <laughs> Always going to pick up after your dragon and let's go ahead and look at, oh, are you sleeping already? Good sir, we got to go riding. Come on. Let's go ahead. We will put his saddle on and now we got to wake him up. Buddy, you can't just nap. <laughs> it's time for training. Let's go ahead and uh, go ahead, ride our dragon, and we will head out. And here we go. So once we're out, we can just turn around and go past. We can run. Look at this. This doesn't this look majestic. I love it. 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 Um, first things first, maybe let's try some of the mini games. So this is one of them, I think. Train accuracy. Let's go ahead and try this. I don't actually know what his stats are. We should probably check that. So here's how you play the game. So you gotta left click and right click. It's a pretty, pretty, pretty simple game. It just takes a little bit of getting used to. And uh, you just got to line up the, uh, the little um, icons here. And uh, that's how you do it. It's, it's fun. I like these mini game style things. Oops, I didn't hit that one too well. I like these mini game style things. They're uh, a fun way of making the training very interactive, and uh, I appreciate that. Honestly, I love the way the game is put together from what I've seen of it so far, 
it. So it has a very very fun vibe to it. And again, it very much does remind me of kind of the, the style of game that I appreciated when I was younger. And uh, it, it's kind of nice to see a game that goes right back to that because I very much did enjoy it. And it's nice to see another one. And there we go. Is that the last one? Oh, this is the last one. No respect. Okay, we got great... So, uh, respect increases the gains you get from this, we got plus four accuracy. The more you bond with your dragon, the better that will get. And I think we might want to... Let's maybe go check out... Do we want to go into town? I'm tempted to go into town. Oh, hello? 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 Can I... Can I dismount? Oh, he, yeah, I can dismount. There we go. Let's go ahead and we can pick this up, I think. There we go. You just have to be right on top of it. Now we can ride again. If I hit check... Oh, here we go. Yeah, so you can see his name is Phantom. His health is 110, his stamina is 90, his strength is 70, accuracy is 104 because we boosted it, defense is 110, and dexterity is 90. So his strength is the lowest, his defense and his accuracy and his health are the highest. So he's kind of a tanky boy, it looks like. Uh, stamina and dexterity are also pretty good, but we probably we might want to boost his strength. That might be a good thing to do. Let's go ahead and ride again, though. We'll see if we can do another little mini game. And we're kind of just going to work on training this guy a little bit. I don't think... If we go here, can we bring him into town? I, I want to ride th through town. I can ride through town on my dragon. What more could you want? <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, we do know he likes ham now, too. Uh, so that's good. That's something to keep in mind. We'll probably try all the different foods. I'm sorry, Phantom. You're going to have to figure out what you don't like, too. Um... But I did want to actually look at the dojo possibly as well, because that's something that I haven't uh, haven't seen yet. There we go. He'll let us down. And we can go ahead and uh, check at the dojo, perhaps. Oh, Phantom. Not here. Not in town. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so... Oh, okay. A light nibble that gets drool it. Ew. All right. Taunt. Lowers enemy strength, so that's a status move. Take aim. I haven't actually tried the battles, so we probably want to try the battles before we actually learn anything. It costs a good bit. Oh my goodness. Uh, so a lot of these are status. It looks like... Oh, there's quite a lot, isn't there? Wow, and there's stuff that's, that's uh, locked as well. Huh. Okay. So we'll probably understand more of this once we've actually been in a battle. We should maybe try that too. But let's see. Let's go sparks. Learn. Wait, so these are all unlocked. Oh, okay, so he has some that are memorized or not. That raises defense. Let's let's try learning this. Oh, so you can you can adjust what skills they know. Okay, so you can have up to 20, it looks like. That makes sense. Good good to know, good to know. So I think I understand that a little bit more. Um, let's go ahead though. We probably want to head back. Let's uh, ride our way back to uh, back to the um, the ranch. Always want to leave your dragon indoors. One of the tips that it said in the book is that you don't want to leave them out in the open. So I'm gonna go ahead. We will. Let, well, let's check him one last time. Make sure he's doing all right, and then we will uh, head to bed ourselves. So he's. He's mostly more than anything he's tired, which is fair. It's 8 p.m. So let's go ahead and get some sleep and we'll check on this guy in the morning. Another kind of misty day by the looks of it, but let's head out and see how our boy is doing. See how Phantom's doing. And uh, he's sleeping. Oh, I forgot to take his saddle off. That may have not made him very happy. Um, are you sad because of that? He's kind of maybe dirty because of that. Let's go ahead, we'll feed him. So he likes ham. How do you feel about chicken? Do you like chicken? You do like chicken. Okay, good to know. Um, we should probably give you a bath as well. Let's go ahead, we'll take your saddle off for that. And then we'll take a look at these saddles in town before we really get started. All right. Phantom is all cleaned up. We've come into town, and I'm going to go ahead and dismount so we can take a look at the saddles. So training saddle it increases training effectiveness. It's kind of expensive. I think I'm going to buy it. I also am re I found another mushroom on the way by, and so I'm thinking those might uh, show up every single day or most days. So I really want to see if he likes mushrooms. If he does, that could probably be a pretty good way to feed him. Okay, we have found even another mushroom. They grow very fast. I'm gonna go ahead and try feeding him one and see what he thinks of it. 
Uh, Phantom, I hope you like this. Oh, he does like it. Okay, so mushrooms it is then. Mushrooms seems to be the trick because that boosts happiness, that boosts food, and we can find them frequently. What is this game? This is one we haven't seen yet. Um, I'll go ahead. Train Dexterity. I think that might have been a lower one, so let's see what this game is. Use the WASD key or arrow keys to avoid incoming obstacles. The less obstacles you hit, the better your score. Sure, sounds great. Oh, we, we should have applied his new saddle. I don't think I actually did that. So, avoid the obstacles. There we go. Oh, that's a bird. I really do love these minigame style things. It, it's a very, very fun style of game. And, uh, hey, we're riding a dragon. That is always a very awesome thing. <laughs> Honestly, this is a really- oh, oh, we made it to the end. I was like, why is he going forward? I didn't tell him to do that, but we made it. All right. Uh, oh, and he gained respect because we got a perfect- nice. This is- this is a good game. He gained six dexterity, 150 gold. That seems like a fun game for him. Tis a new misty morning again. Let's go ahead and check on our boy Phantom and see how he's doing. See if, uh, He's chillin', it looks like. He's sleeping as usual. How you doing? How you doing, bud? He's dirty once again. He's a little bit hungry. Let's go ahead. We will give him some... Well, he likes ham. He likes chicken. For the sake of experimentation, I'm going to give him salad and see if he likes that or not. If not, I don't think he liked that. Alright, um, and I'm going to guess he's not going to be fond of grubs either, perhaps? Oh, he is! Okay, so just, just, uh, just not, uh, not salad. That, that's fair, that's fair. You do seem like a carnivorous sort of dragon. <laughs> uh, actually, before we do this, I'm gonna go ahead and give him a quick bath. Oh, and once again, tis, uh, time to make sure we clean up. And I'll go ahead and give him a quick bath, and then we'll go ahead and, uh, do some training. Oh, this looks like another game. I bet this boosts ac- Oh no, this is strength. Okay, I was gonna say, bet it boosts accuracy. Alright. Oh, it's punching bag. Okay. Left click when the moving green bar is in the center of the hit zones. Alright. So, this is- Oh, there we go. There we go. Just gotta have good reaction time. There we go. Hey! We're getting it, I think. Hey! We gained respect for that too. We got a perfect. Nice. So respect, I think, represents the bond you have with the dragon. It's plus nine strength, nice. So that was, of course, in part due to his saddle. What else have we got over here? Uh, we do have his training saddle on. Oh, we've got, what's this? Train defense, sure. I think that's one of his higher skills. As fish jump out of the river, left click them. Click as many as you can. Don't click these swimming gerblins. You'll lower your score. Okay, so we wanna get fish. All right. Oh, there's one. There's one. There's one. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my goodness, they're just like high diving in. I didn't know that was what it was gonna, it was gonna be. When they said swimming, I thought they were gonna be in the river. <laughs> I guess this makes sense, but oh my gosh, careful y'all. I'm just swimming up the waterfall. Sure, whatever floats your boat. That works. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I hit the wrong one. No, I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, we're almost done. There we go. A little bit of, there we go. No respect, because we whacked someone we shouldn't have. I'm sorry, but we got plus six defense. That's a good thing, right? I probably am not doing this right, but I'm, we're going to learn by experience and figure out what we're doing wrong. And if you guys, oh my goodness, if you guys want to, uh, if you guys want to see more of this series, of course, we want to hang out more with our boy Phantom here, then definitely let me know, let me know you want to see more of this, and we'll continue on from here. So for now, though, I think we're going to head over this way, check out the tournament which I think is over here. Either that or I'm going crazy and we're going to find out. <laughs> what is this? Go to battle, sure. Is this gonna be the tournament? Oh, okay. Um, all right. I don't know how this works. All right, let's see. Brother battle. These are both brother battles. I guess these are the rankings. Oh, this is tournament. e rank tournament, all right. Versus Stargazer, prize 500, fame five. Gotta get three stars. So it may not actually... Oh, okay. So we're not allowed to... Okay. Oh, okay. So the battles are actually scheduled. All right. So we're not going to get to battle then. Um, you know what? I'm going to run it till Monday then. We'll do our first battle then. Uh, so we can't do the tournament, but we got to keep competing in battle. So we actually have to come out here and make sure... Oh, there's another mushroom. <laughs> I'm forever going to stop and collect the mushroom. So let's just do a little bit of more training. And you know what? That means we are going to cue a training montage. <laughs>
and here we are. Oh, it looks kind of windy out, but it is Monday, so this should be the day of the uh, the battle, unless I'm mistaken. So let's go ahead. We will check on our boy Phantom. Oh, I left his saddle on. Oh no, I forgot to take that off. Darn it. Um, I think th I don't know if that decreases decreases happiness or cleanliness. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, and of course we gotta clean up after him. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get him ready for the battle. Get him all freshened up and uh, and and cleaned up here and fed. And we'll go ahead. I will see you guys when we get there. All right, here we are. We have prepared. We have trained. Let's see. We should be able to go fight, I think. Looks like we have a battle. We can win a thousand gold if we win. F five fame. We won't have enough for the tournament yet, but eight hours. Okay, we've got the whole day. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see. Oh, it's a, it's a cat dragon, too. All right. Um, hmm. So I think if I hit move... Hold on. I can't move. Move here. If I hit attack, do any of these? Nope. All right. Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. I think we just have to hit end turn. If we're back here, then. Oh, it looks like. Oh, what's he. Oh, he's got a move that hits us from above. Uh oh. That's not what I wanted. Um, oh boy. Raises strength, lowers enemy strength. I think we gotta use that on us. Uh, our strength is not great. And then I want to... Oh boy. Our strength... Oh, we've got we've got one strength buff. Okay, I'm learning how this works. Uh, we can move... There's nowhere we can really go that he can't shock us is the problem. We need to get up. Oh, he came behind us! Oh my goodness, he's got so many moves though! He's got so many moves that I don't know what to do about! Oh my goodness, are we burn- oh, whenever burn increases, take five accuracy- five- five accuracy damage times the- oh my goodness, that's not- that doesn't seem heckin' good. How many moves does he have? I guess we gotta learn more moves. We gotta get behind him is the problem. Oh my goodness, we have so many debuffs. Well, the whole point of this was for it to be a learning experience, so if you want to see me learn and get better at this- No, get out! <laughs> get out of the spot I need to move to, you jerk! <laughs> well, if you want to see me learn from this experience and do better, definitely let me know. We'll try this again sometime, uh, because I would love to continue on this. I love Phantom already. He is very, very fun, fun boy to play with here, and I would love to keep training him. And, alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna end here. I don't want to keep burning our power. And he moved up again. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he is definitely more prepared for this than we are. We need to get behind him is the problem. I feel like I'm getting the hang of what I need to do. I just did not prepare enough by actually teaching him additional moves. So, all right, if we go here. I don't have anything that I can use to attack him from above is the problem. I'm gonna keep... I don't know if Roar actually helps. Oh, we have much... We have much, much strength stacked. But he's probably gonna move back on top of us. He is! Oh my goodness! He's gonna stay on top of us is the problem. We're not gonna be able to get behind him and our only two attacks require us to be behind him. So, we're learning a, a hard, bad lesson. <laughs> but, you know what? I'm having fun. We we're learning something, even if we get our butt kicked. We are going to, uh, we'll try again, we'll try again next time. I'm gonna keep trying to move. Oh, we should? Alright, oh, he's using the move I want to be able to use. If I move up, if we can get him to go beneath us, maybe that'll help? But I think we're, I think it might be kind of a lost cause at this point, because he's, oh, he did go beneath us, all right. I wish we could move diagonally, but that's not going to work, I don't think. I'm gonna try and roar again, because our power is maxed, but I don't think it's gonna, oh yeah, it's already buffed up. Yep, he's below us again. Moral of the story, use the hecking dojo. <laughs> oh my goodness, all right, and there we go. Wow. <laughs> so we got our butts kicked. We definitely got our butts kicked. But we learned a good lesson. So we may have lost this fight. If I look at the battle, I don't think we can do that again. Nope. 
but we'll have another battle coming up against the same guy on Thursday. Uh, so if you guys want to see us try again, try to do a little bit better, and actually use the dojo to learn new moves so that we can actually counter different different areas, which I didn't think that was going to be that much of a problem. If we have 20 move slots, I probably should have used them. Uh, then definitely let me know and we can try this again. But in any case, I have very much enjoyed it, even if we did not do too well in that fight. I would love to come back if you guys want to see us come back. I'd love to get to hang out with Phantom again. He is a good boy. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, any any case though, I think we're going to go ahead and end off this episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.